Guys, at the airport, there is no mercy for the cripple. So guys, in today's video, we are talking about boarding pass. I know a lot of you guys know this boarding pass, but we still have our brothers and sisters who don't know this boarding pass. And as this channel is for education, we still need to educate ourselves. So if you are taking a flight, definitely you may get this boarding pass before you do what? you get into the flight to your destination and this video is going to help a lot of people who are traveling for the first time so you need to watch the video till end and try to share this video for me and a happy easter to our christian brothers and sisters around the globe and ramadan kareem to all muslims around the globe and guys please this is my facebook page could you please kindly Take a minute and go and follow me on my Facebook page and come back and continue watching this video because it seems you guys, we need to plead to you before you follow the Facebook page. That is why I am pleading to you guys to go and follow the Facebook page for me. It is very, very important. Nowadays, that is where I am posting a lot of videos. So go and follow the page and at least try to share the page for me. Now, let's come back to the main reason why we are here today. As I said before, we are talking about boarding pass today. In this boarding pass, you could only get it if you are traveling with a flight and my advice to each and everyone traveling with a flight is that punctuality is very very important if you are traveling by flight you need to be at the airport on time at least two hours or more before your departure time will be very very important because if you get to the airport there are a lot of process that you will pass through before you even take the flight it's not like train if you reach at the train station even if it is one minute two minutes you can take the train if it is bus even one minute two minutes you can take the bus flight it's not like that if they close check-in you have missed your flight just like that this is my personal experience maybe your own may not be like that so if your own experience is different you can so let us know in the comment section below i have mentioned being at the airport on time that is the first point now checking in your luggage if you get to the airport you need to look for your flight where they are doing the check-in you go there then you check in your bags if it is a flight that you have 223 kg bag then your luggage have to be 23 kg two times guys at the airport there is no mercy for the cripple if your luggage pass the 23 kg you need to reduce it till you get the 23 kg that is why i am telling you that it is very very important to be at the airport on time so that you will get enough time to arrange your luggage we have skills at the airport that even if you get there and your luggage are more you can keep on trying with their skills to get the normal 23 kg because if it passed they will not allow you it is also advisable to weigh your luggage at home for example if you don't know how to weigh your luggage at home if you have a skill at home this kind of skill now to know your luggage total first of all you go on the scale alone the number that you weigh you put it aside now you carry the bag you stand on the scale so the figure that you get carrying the luggage on the scale so you now subtract the figure that you got alone standing on the scale for example if you stand on the scale and you weigh 10 so you put it there you write 10 so carrying the bag on your head if you get 33 so now you carry the bag you got 33 you weigh alone you got 10 so 33 minus 10 will give you 23k so you are almost there guys arranging your bag to 23k is very very important now let's say your bags are okay you now put it on the scale they check everything is okay they will now give you this boarding pass so now they have given you this boarding pass you need to go and look for your flight gate and now wait for your flight to do what to come now proceeding to look for your flight gate 
they need to also check the small bag you are carrying inside the flight the small bag you need to put it on an x-ray machine so that if they determine things that you cannot carry inside the flight they will remove everything now they will check you personally to make sure that you are not carrying any harmful tools any weapons or something like that they have checked you you are okay your small bag to enter inside the flight is okay you now have to pass through immigration they need to check your document to see your passport whether your everything is okay now you pass through immigration successfully you now go and look for your flight gate now giving you the boarding pass on the boarding pass you have the flight number the boarding time your seat so if you enter the flight you go direct to be looking for your seat your name the particular airport you are taking off to your destination so it is very very important to get a little advice like this before you get to the airport you understand so that you will not start looking up and down so that they will know that ah this guy is new it is your first time you understand be very very bold if you get to the airport i know a lot of people will say when till when will i take flight guys don't worry one day one day you will definitely do what you will definitely take it if official cracker have taken flight why can't you take a flight definitely one day one day you will also take a flight let me know what you think about this video and if this information was useful don't forget to give me a thumbs up and try to share this video i love you guys because you are the reason why i give information day in and day out keep on supporting and we will be giving you information ups and down and before i sign out if you want the best application to wire money back to africa the best application for you is tap tap send you can download tap tap send on google play or app store register guys their rates are something else if you are sending money with tap tap send to africa you don't pay any sending fee or any commission and the good news here is that if you want to send money back to nigeria and using my promo code for the first time official niger in capital letters tap tap send is going to give you five euro free bonus if you want to join it to the money that you are sending you can still join it to the money that you are sending guys the application is very very interesting so what are you waiting for download the application today and start enjoying their high rate